uh, from that tourism cabinet secretary Phyllis Kandie and her sports and culture counterpart Asan Wario have expressed optimism that the ongoing Smith Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington DC will help, will help market Kenya as a tourism and investment destination. The optimism has been triggered by the many visitors who have toured the Kenyan stands to sample a variety of traditional cuisine and Kenyan music. Patrick Mimo has more. The second week of the Smithsonian Festival has seen many people visiting the Kenyan stands. Over 40 artists have been performing at the Ngoma stage, treating guests to traditional tunes of Ohangla, Isukuti, Mugivi, Chakacha, Tarab and Benga beats. Two cabinet ministers are leading the Kenyan delegation and were all upbeat about the 10-day festival which has been showcasing Kenya's diverse cultures. And we have been uh, showcasing our culture here in Kenya and also taking the opportunity to promote our tourism and our products. Americans at the event are interested in knowing about Kenya because of President Barack Obama. So, they have come here in droves, young and old, to sample cultures from the motherland of President Obama's father, Barack Hussein Obama Sr. They sampled Kenyan authentic cuisine like nyamachoma, alia, which is low smoked and sun-dried meat, ugali, mokimo, coconut rice, samosa and mahamri. Tasca beer served at the right temperature washed down the food. Challenge making ugali for uh, you know 10,000 people a day, but we, you know we're up to the challenge. Be moving back to to our country, and they will really really want to know what normally happens there, and the tourist industry will actually improve. Meet the Kenyan people, have a taste of the Kenyan food, get an outlook at the Kenyan artwork, and really get a feel for what could be a great experience for a couple weeks in Kenya. Thank you. Maasai traditional dancers have also been a major attraction. There have also been sessions for storytelling and expert talks on Kenyan cultures. Artists have used traditional string and percussion instruments to entertain visitors with pulsating music. We had to witness, uh, you know, what Kenya is all about and it's really, really amazing. Much contact people ask you. If we go to somebody and say, oh, where's your card? It's like, oh, it's gone. Why? Because people want my contact. So it was so nice to see, to feel, and even to hear from different people how they felt about this festival in Kenya. And again, everybody left say, Kenya, mambo po. The curtain of the annual festival, organized by the Smithsonian Institute, among other sponsors, will come down on Sunday. Patrick Amimo, KTN.